Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Just in, Kimberly Guilfoyle just stunned fans with another new announcement. Congrats! Recently, Fox News made the surprise announcement that co-host of the network's afternoon show The Five, Kimberly Guilfoyle, was leaving the news network. Speculation was rampant that the parting was not a voluntary one. According to reports, Guilfoyle had been replaced just one hour prior to The Five going on air. When the show went on air, Katie Pavlich took her seat, but there was no mention of Guilfoyle nor was any on-air statement made. Guilfoyle herself was silent and reports of 49-year-old's impending departure swirled for hours on Friday as Fox News publicists also remained silent. Late in the day, a Fox News spokesperson released a short, terse statement to the media simply stating, Fox News has parted ways with Kimberly Guilfoyle. Four days went by ripe with speculation when Guilfoyle finally broke her silence to let her fans know what her next steps would be. Making a statement via Twitter in a two-part tweet, she stated Dash. Today I have a bittersweet announcement. I've decided to leave Fox News Channel and dedicate myself full-time to joining America First as vice chairwoman, campaigning across the country and firmly standing with President Trump. She continued in a second tweet, stating Dash. I will miss my Fox family. I thank Fox for the opportunities it has provided me. I thank all the talented producers, staff, and above all I thank the best fans out there. America First refers to America First Action, which is a super PAC created to elect federal candidates who support the agenda of the Trump-Pence administration. According to the website, America First Action Super PAC is committed to creating an America where prosperity, safety, and strength reign where hardworking people like you lead the charge with grit, determination, and pride. Together, we continue to forge an America where opportunities are boundless, a first-place America where we all win. Guilfoyle, who is currently in a relationship with President Donald Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr., worked at Fox News for 12 years, beginning her career with the network in 2006. She worked as a legal analyst and host for a variety of shows, as well as co-hosting the show The Five. Many believe Guilfoyle will be ideal for a position within the Trump hierarchy given her current connection to the eldest Trump son, as well as her knowledge of the media and the legal field. America First is delighted to welcome Kimberly to the team, said Thomas Hicks Jr., chairman of the board of America First Action, in a recent announcement. It's an honor to have such a talented woman and one of the most highly sought-after television personalities in the country help us achieve our objective, helping the president make America great again. The Super PAC intends to assist in electing candidates in the effort to assist the country in recovering from the damage done by the Obama agenda. According to the About Section Dash. For eight long years, America was held hostage by an administration where our hopes, dreams, and values were sold, piece by piece. Winning became a bad word and apologies, the norm. Our jobs went overseas, our products made by foreign companies. We no longer were a first place America. But being first place isn't always easy. That's why we are counting on hard-working people like you who won't settle for anything less. With your help, we can continue to create an America where dreams are limitless and opportunities, boundless, a first-place America we can all be proud of, where together, we all win. Guilfoyle is a former prosecutor for in San Francisco and Los Angeles. She is also the former wife of California politician Gavin Newsom and was first lady of San Francisco during Newsom's first two years as mayor of that city. Newsom is currently serving as California's lieutenant governor and is running as the Democratic candidate in the upcoming election to replace current Governor Jerry Brown. She says she looks forward to connecting with the millions of grassroots supporters who believe in this administration in an effort to continue the Trump-Pence agenda to make America great again. Throughout my career as a prosecutor and journalist, I've seen a lot and shared many stories of tragedy, triumph, and everything in between, but never have I experienced anything quite like the energy the America First movement brings," Guilfoyle said in a statement released by the organization. I am grateful for this new and exciting opportunity to connect with the millions of grassroots supporters who believe in this administration. As vice chairwoman, America First says Guilfoyle will assist with fundraising, media appearances, and grassroots outreach. Guilfoyle joined Fox News in February 2006, as host of the weekend show, The Lineup. The Lineup was eventually cancelled but Guilfoyle remained a regular contributor for the network. She was later chosen to be as co-host of The Five, in 2011. She remained a host on the show until her recent departure. In 2014, she began co-hosting Outnumbered regularly, until the show settled on more permanent hosts.
She also appeared weekly on the O'Reilly Factor's recurring segment Is It Legal? Until the show's cancellation in 2017, as well as a weekly Thursday guest on Brian Kilmeade's Kilmeade and Friends radio show. During her time at Fox, Guilfoyle served as a guest host on Hannity, On the Record, Justice with Judge Janine, and Fox and Friends. In May 2018, news leaked out that Guilfoyle was dating Donald Trump Jr., President Donald Trump's eldest son after the two attended an event together. This raised eyebrows since Trump Jr. was still in the midst of an ongoing divorce with his now ex-wife Vanessa Trump. Guilfoyle had been friends with the couple and the Trump family for years. The left began to attack the relationship between the two with accusations of infidelity and accusing Guilfoyle of being a homewrecker. There were even calls for Guilfoyle to be fired over her relationship with Trump Jr. Yet surprisingly, Trump Jr.'s ex-wife Vanessa staunchly defended the relationship between the president's son and the now former Fox News host, stating Dash. The lengths people will go to attack a woman simply because she's dating Don. We've been separated for over nine months and respect each other's decisions and privacy. We'll focus on raising our great kids. Would be nice if the press did the same rather than obsess over our private lives. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.